Oh, <clears throat> guess what, guys? Did you know it's Mike Barnacle's birthday? Oh, yeah, yes. it's 39th yes. again. There we go. Yeah, Mike. I told Happy you birthday. it was your special day when I yes. walked in. It, and Mike got really mad at me when I tried to <laughs> wish him a happy birthday this morning. He like, I appreciate that, Mika, but let yeah. me tell you something. At this stage of my life, if I wake up every day is a special day. Every day is a special <laughs> well, day if I a, wake up. Well, it's a very special day today because yes. here's just a tiny snippet of what we're treated to from Mike every morning right here on Morning Joe. We have MSNBC contributor Mike Barnacle. Hello. Mike Barnacle with this. Veteran columnist Mike Barnacle. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, 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 Give it to me. This ball yard has so many places. They fill the mind with thoughts of when you were young, or thoughts of yesterday, or hopes for tomorrow. You come here and the memories just resonate. They just fall off you like sweat on a hot day. Catastrophe of 86. I love you, Mike Barnacle. I really do. <laughs> Your average fan. Morning. I'm Mike Barnacle in for Willie Geist, and this is way too elderly. Here it goes. And President Obama. Oh, right here. Here he is. <laughs> I walk right past the president. If you look at your life as a 15-round title bout, you've been knocked down several times, gone to one knee. You always get back up. So at this stage of this election process, why are you still the guy, the best guy, to be in the ring with Donald Trump? This is a crime syndicate that's been operating in full view of the American public, which says a lot about us, that it takes these hearings to awaken and alert some people to the misbehavior, to the criminal behavior of one administration, the Trump administration. This country has suffered great damage, none more so than the injection into the political bloodstream that the election of 2020 was fixed, was rigged. What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? About Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. All facing west, toward the beach where they landed, the channel they crossed, and the land that they left to come and help rid the world of the terror that was Hitler's Third Reich. I think that it is unfortunate, it's impossible of course, that every American cannot get the opportunity to stand on that hallowed ground. Barnacle yeah. will leave his jacket on the back of uh, the chair and go, I'll be right back, and he just never comes yeah. back. That's the Irish goodbye. Nice, so legendary. He really, so well, he is legendary. and. Uh, you know, Willie, um, it is. I, I mean, for, for, for younger people uh, who uh, know Mike over the last 16 years uh, on, on this show, that we've been so blessed to have him here. Uh, they, uh, many don't even, younger people don't understand. He's one of the greatest columnists uh, of the 20th century. Uh, I, you, you talk to people in Boston still, and um, they they come up to you and 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 they ask about Barnacle First wherever question. I go, where, yep. wherever I yep. go. They're like, tell me about Barnacle. Tell me more about Barnacle. <laughs> and I will tell you about Mike Barnacle very briefly this morning, uh, Willie. And I know you feel the same way. People always ask how we get up at three thirty, four o'clock, how we do this every day. We do it every day because we do it with people that we love, the people yep. that are members of our family. And uh, and uh, you, just like you, are a member of our family, Willie, and we're a member of your family. Uh, Mike, Mike is not like family to us. Mike is family. Uh, I, I've never felt closer to a group of people uh, mm. uh, along with my family than I feel uh, to you all. And Mike, uh, Willie, Mike is at the center of that. Yeah, no question about it. And the reason you love Mike Barnacle is because these five minutes are making him 
outrageously so uncomfortable. Mad. He's much <laughs> angry. <laughs> not talking. Very <laughs> angry. He's, <laughs> he's going to leave. He's going to leave. Yeah, the Jack it, it, it is. It is true, Joe. And I was thinking exactly what you said, which is you wake up at four in the morning, you come through, you see Thirty Rock, that wakes you up because you're so lucky to get to work here and do this show every day. But then when you see Mike Barnacle, you go, "Oh, right. That's why. That's why we're doing this to spend time and not just on the air." Off the air is the best time with Mike. We love him so much. He's a role model to me as a dad. Oh, my God. And I think to all of us. <laughs> yes. He is. It's a big birthday. And I want to this say is, one last thing. Happy. You weren't joking. You yeah. weren't joking about the jacket on the back of the chair. At no. the 2008 Republican Convention in St. <laughs> Paul, Minnesota, we're doing a show, three hours. We take a break. I look around. I say, where's Barnacle? And the blue jacket's on the back of the chair. Just and I finally it. text him, where are you? I'm in the hotel room having breakfast. I said, what? He said, Willie, in your life, what you want to do, go buy a bunch of cheap blue blazers. And you can just leave them wherever you go, and you can leave any party you don't want to be at, any situation. That's why Costco is. You walk away from it. The best advice he's ever given us. All right. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Did you see that coming? Happy birthday, Mike. Did we surprise you? I did not see it coming. And, And I'm enormously grateful for the time I've been allowed to spend here, 16 years. Can with you all of it? you. And now, Mika, in the immortal words yeah. of Roberto Duran, yeah. no mas. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, we love you. We're-